We are now on step five of the creator, and this is the part where you add artwork. So the important thing to know is different artwork looks better on different types of wristbands depending on the type of band you chose. So if you choose a laser engraved band, just remember that the artwork is being cut into, it's being engraved into that band. So if it has fades or lots of colors, you're not gonna see those. It's probably not gonna look great. But if you stick to solid images, it'll cut it out and it'll look really good. So in, if you do want something that has a lot of detail, screen print bands probably give you the most flexibility. In this case, I'm doing a color filled band, which means that it is the image is debossed down and then color is added into the letters and the artwork. So I'm creating a kind of retro 80s band and I'm going to go ahead and add some artwork. So just to show you how, I can add artwork from our, our library here just by clicking on I'm going to add this butterfly. And then instructions on how I can manipulate the image pop up. So it tells me I, where I want to put it. Do I want to put it in the middle? I'm going to go ahead and put it at the start of the front message. And I'm going to click place image. And I see that it appears right here. Now what I can do is I can click on it and I can move it. And I can move it to anywhere on the band. So it doesn't really matter where you choose to place it because you can't move it. So now I'm going to click on it and I can either click this X below the image down here or I can just click the delete key on the keyboard which is what I'm going to do. So now you can also, and this is what most people choose to do, is add your own artwork. So I'm going to choose a file and I already have these little Space Invader aliens picked out. So I'm going to add one alien here. I'm going to set, go ahead and put it at the start of the front message and I'm just going to move it here. Now it looks a little bit big on the band so I'm going to grab the corner and I'm just going to scale it down just a little bit and then you can move it with the mouse or in this case I'm just going to use the keyboard because I want to do some fine tuning. Okay so I'm going to add one more. I'm going to click choose file again. I'm going to choose alien number two. Open that and I'm going to put the start of the back message place image again that doesn't matter if you click on it because you can just grab it and move it wherever you want and I'm gonna put this alien here and I'm gonna also shrink it down center it up a little bit now another thing I can do is I can grab the corner and when you see it bend I could rotate it too like that. Okay, so I have my band. I can come up here, look at it in 3D. Here's the front, here's the back. Spin it around, see if I like it. Looks pretty good. So then I just click go to next step, and I am done.